Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2019 Ford F-150, we're gonna be showing you how to install the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver. But before we do that, why don't we check it out and make sure that this is the hitch you're gonna need. So you got your F-150 and obviously wanna do some truck stuff, right? And so having a hitch back here, uh, just makes sense, it's right at home. Um, not every one of these F-150s came standard with the trailer hitch. So if that's your case, um, an aftermarket option like the Kurt here is probably going to be your best bet. So with that said, having this back here now, it's gonna allow you to tow your trailers around or even if you were to wanna use an accessory, uh, it's gonna give you that attachment point. This hitch is going to be a class three, which means it's gonna have that two inch by two inch receiver tube opening. Super common size, a lot of different things are gonna work with it. At the end, there will be a reinforced collar for a little bit of extra support. And it is going to use that standard 5 8 pin and clip. Keep in mind though, pin and clip doesn't come with the hitch. If you need one, not really a big deal. You can always grab it here at each trailer. And it's going to have loop style safety chain openings, which will give us enough space to use just about any size hook that our trailer might have. As far as the hitch's weight capacities go, it's gonna have some pretty high numbers. Maximum gross tongue weight rating will be 900 pounds. That's gonna be the amount of weight pushing down on the hitch, so pretty high number. Uh, any accessory or anything like that you wanna use, you'll be able to. And as far as the hitch's maximum gross trailer weight rating goes, that's gonna be 6,000 pounds, or the amount of weight that is pulling on the hitch. So weight of the trailer, plus anything that you might have on it. This can be used with the weight distribution system, which is a separate component. And what happens whenever you use that, uh, it's gonna keep your truck and your trailer uh, more level whenever you're towing it down the road. So if you have a, a larger camper, something along them lines, uh, might be worth looking into. If you do use a weight distribution system, the capacities are gonna increase a little bit. Maximum gross tongue weight rating will go up to 1,000 pounds and maximum gross trailer weight rating will go up to 10,000 pounds. Uh, I do always like to recommend, it's never a bad idea just to grab your Ford's owner's manual. That way you can make sure your F-150 can pull out much weight safely. Now let's go ahead, just grab a couple of measurements. That way we can figure out what hitch mounted accessories are gonna work out best. You go from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube opening, that's gonna be about 18 inches. So if you plan on pulling a trailer, you could use uh, a ball mount that has a straight shank or maybe even one that has a slight uh, drop in it. Keep in mind too, that measurement can vary depending on your truck's tire size, you know, if you got a lift kit and things like that. Um, if you go from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of our rear bumper, that's gonna be about three and a half inches, and you can use that measurement to figure out uh, that if any folding type accessories you might have can be stored in the upright position without contacting the back of your truck. Just to kind of do a quick comparison, because there is quite a few available. This one compared to the other class three hitches, you know, they're all gonna be in the same ballpark. Some might have a little bit higher weight ratings. Uh, some might have a little bit less. Uh, but it's, it's really just gonna depend on what you're trying to do. All of them are gonna get the job done. Um, if you're someone that plans on towing something that's really heavy or would rather just have a hitch that uh, is a little overkill, there's actually a draw tight class four and five hitch. The weight ratings are quite a bit higher, so you have a little more room to work with it there. So that's always an option for you too. But other than that, at the end of the day, I mean, hitch you really can't go wrong with, right? It, it looks good. It's not hanging down super far or anything, so it um, looks kind of factory. And as far as the installation goes, it was actually easier than I thought. Uh, really not too bad. You'll have to get a couple of bolts in the frame, and essentially this kind of just lifts up into place. So really shouldn't run into too many issues, but if you'd like to see how that's done, feel free to hang around. We'll go ahead and put the hitch on together now. To begin our installation, we're gonna be underneath the back of our truck. And what I did was temporarily lower and remove the spare tire. Uh, that way we have all the extra room to work. And then with that said, we're gonna have a bolt over here on the passenger side towards the back that we need to pull out. Right here, passenger side towards the back, we're gonna have this 10 millimeter head bolt. So we can pull this out. 
Your truck may or may not have this back here. If it doesn't, obviously you don't need to worry about it, but since ours does, we're gonna pull this off and then eventually we'll uh, reattach it a little bit later on. Then we can move over to the driver's side and we're gonna have some electrical connectors that are attached to the frame. So we're just gonna take a trim tool or a flathead screwdriver, kind of pry behind them to get them off. And we'll just kind of push them up out of the way for now. Uh, that way our hitch will clear. Now we can grab the U-shaped spacer block and I'm just uh, using some packing tape put on it. And we're gonna tape it right here in this recessed part of the frame. Line it up like that. Let's get it stuck on there. What I'm gonna do is cut the opening out so our bolts and stuff can go through there. And I wanna mention from this point on, anything we do to one side of our truck, we're also gonna do to the other side because it'll be set up the same way. On the side plates on our hitch, this hole, that'll eventually be closest to the front of the truck. You wanna take one of our spacer blocks there and tape it to the hitch. So I'm just gonna try to center it. And doing it this way, as opposed to trying to sneak this in while we're holding the hitch above her head and everything else, um, just it's a little easier. I'll tape that on there. And then of course, obviously you wanna cut that tape out where the hole is so our bolts and stuff can pass through there. Now we're able to get our hardware in the frame. So we're gonna be fish wiring it. So you can take the coiled end, put it through this hole, and we're gonna push it towards the front of our truck. And what we're trying to do is get it to come out of this larger hole there. So once we have it out, you can take another spacer block, slide that over, and then a carriage bolt. That will thread on. And then we can push the hardware in the frame. And what we'll do is get it to pull out like this. But then we're just gonna barely push it back in. That way when we put the hitch up, it's not hitting the bolt. You know, so we'll do that. And then we're gonna have one more attachment point, which will be this hole here. And we're gonna do the same deal. Take our fish wire, pull it out, spacer block and carriage bolt. Pull it through and then just barely push it back in. Now with the next set of hands, we can take our hitch and get it into position. So you're gonna to wanna to lift up and then take your fish wires, run them from the outside in. We'll just kind of slowly work this up into place here. And once we get it close, we should be able to pull our bolts out. And then what you wanna do is remove one of the pull wires, take a flange nut. We wanna get at least one started on each side, hand tight, that way the hitch will support itself. For this bolt, you're gonna use another flange nut. And sometimes it's kinda of tricky because the bolt wants to go back into the frame. If you kinda of put some downward pressure on the hitch, that'll kinda of jam the bolt and make it easier to get this started. We can come back over here to where we had this ground wire and get it re-secured using the included bolt. You wanna do this before you tighten them down because sometimes the spacer blocks and stuff will be in the way of getting the bolt back in there and you might have to kind of maneuver the hitch around to get everything lined up. So do this first. I did kind of just uh, use some sandpaper to expose a little bare metal there and clean everything up so we get a good ground. And then we can take our bolt it's pretty tight, but it will thread in there. So we'll thread it through this first. And just put it right back into place there. 
To tighten this one down, I have a 13 millimeter socket. So once all of our hardware is in place and hand tight, we'll come back with a 15 16 size socket and snug everything down. At this point, we need to make sure and come back with a torque wrench and torque down all the hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. If you don't have a torque wrench, you can always get one here at E-Trailer, or a lot of times go to your local auto parts store and they'll have one there available that you can rent. Now that the hitch is torqued, you can go ahead, take those electrical connectors and simply just push them back into the uh, holes there in the frame to keep them secure. And finally, with all that done, you can go ahead, put your spare tire back up into position. And as you can see, uh, we're not gonna have any issues as far as clearance or anything like that goes. And that'll finish up our look at and in our installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver on our 2019 Ford F-150.